Hey guys, Yulia here. So today I'm going to be doing a reveal of my winter sewing containers. I actually have opened some a couple of weeks ago because they just needed to get out. <laughs> they started suffocating and growing so fast I needed to open them. So I have a number of them uh, here that are already open, like alyssum is already blooming. But um, I'm just going to jump into it and start opening the containers. And as I'm opening them, I'm going to be talking about why why I love winter sewing so much and maybe why you should try it as well. So I'll start with the bottles that obviously need to be opened right away. Um, so I started winter sewing for the first time last year and it was so super successful that I decided to do it this year as well and it is successful again. So this I think is Cosmos. Look at this. Look at how big they are. Just beautiful, beautiful plants right here. Um, so last year I started the winter sowing uh, in January and this year I started it in February and I see no difference. So definitely um, no difference, like a month is not a big deal. Look at these columbines. Oh, they are so cute. I love this. Um, so, I am actually, if I have time today, I will plant some of these out in landscape because they need to be planted as soon as possible. They need more space, they need more nutrients. Oh my word, look at this. This is Rose of Heaven. <laughs> you guys. So um, from my last experience, I didn't learn anything about overseeding. I definitely overseeded this again. Some of them I did okay, like with the Cosmos, I think there are only five in here, which is great. This is like 105, which is not great, but I'm still learning. Um, so out of all the bottles, I only had two that did not germinate. Um, and I had 30 bottles altogether. So that's really, really good. Now, what I love about winter sewing this is uh, Verbena bonariensis, um, is that it's space saving. Uh, you don't need any grow lights in your house. You don't need any extra space. You do not need to harden off your plants. They are so healthy and so sturdy. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, Penstemon Rocky Mountain. So this is an annual, uh, perennial, and it has the most beautiful blue flowers. Can't wait to plant this one. This is the way I should probably have seeded all the rest of them. But uh, let's see. This is um, grass of some sort. It's so exciting. It's like Christmas. Oh, this is blue grandma grass. Let me just put them here. Also, a lot of perennials need stratification. Um, so when you do, <laughs> look how great that was. That moment was amazing. Um, so when you do winter sowing, they have natural stratification. So you don't have to stick them in the fridge. By the way, the planes are back, <laughs> which is a great sign. So this is a larkspur. This needs to go in the ground as soon as possible. And I have um, some of these plants here that do not like to be transplanted. But last year I have grown this larkspur, this exact one, and it did just fine. Um, as soon as um, I can, I have to put them in the ground and they do much, much better. There's no transplant shock or anything like that. Oh. This is Amidara, wonderful filler in the garden. Just love it. And another thing is that I can grow a lot of different plants that I haven't tried before. <laughs> How great was that? Um, this is Love in the Mist. And again, recycling plastic is always great. Now, um, I, as I mentioned before, I did open some of them already. And some of them I'm opening just now. And I think maybe it was a good thing because our weather has not stabilized at all this spring. We had snow, we had freezing weather. So maybe it's a good thing that these guys were in the bottles. Look at the hollyhocks. 
I have three in here, which I think is pretty good because they are really big. Um, let me see. Oh, look at this hollyhock here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so big. Ta-da. It's hard to believe that these guys were just little, little seeds a couple of months ago. How great is that? So there's one specific plant that I'm looking for to plant today, which is Nicotiana, and I think this is it. Um, one of the things that I think I'm going to do next year is that I'm going to write the names on top as well as put it on the label inside because I cannot see the label anymore. I can recognize some of these plants just by looking at them, but some of them I've never grown before. So, But I am thinking that this is Nicotiana um, that I'm going to put in the front bed today, hopefully. Let's see. Yep. That's it. So um, I am going to open the rest of the bottles and then plant this Nicotiana in the front and I will show you what to do with your winter sowing seedlings once you open them up. All right, you guys, they are all open and they look so healthy. They do need to go in the ground <laughs> as soon as possible, but there are hollyhocks and California bluebells. Alyssum is blooming already. There is no way if I had direct sown um, alyssum in the garden, it would have been blooming already. But look at this. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this Nicotiana in the front bed and I'm going to show you how to plant these guys directly in your beds. But let me show you what else I got here. Look at the hollyhocks. Look at these columbines. Aren't they so delicate? Oh, so pretty. So everything looking um, really good. So the only two bottles that did not germinate was the Pimpinella, which I've never grown before. So I think it may require special treatment. And then uh, Delphinium. Delphinium's are tough, but I did have one Delphinium germinate so I'm not sure if these seeds were old or something but I am super happy with this result all right guys so this is the spot where I'm going to plant the Nicotiana now this is my no dig bed from last year so the soil here is very well prepped uh, but if you have poor soil or clay soil or sandy soil you may have to add some compost on top of your soil to make sure that the, uh, the seedlings that you're planting uh, can acclimate better to their new spot. So what I'm going to use for this planting is this uh, trowel right here because these plants don't really have extensive uh, root system yet. But first I have to take them out of this container. Sometimes it is kind of tricky because they've been here for two months. So you can take them out part by part like this. Don't be afraid. Um, Nicotiana generally does not mind to be transplanted. There are some plants that are root sensitive and they do mind to be transplanted like um, poppies and uh, larkspur. So then I break it up into smaller pieces and you can even plant this piece and um, thin them out but I'm going to break this one up a little bit more. So this Nicotiana um, likes to be planted about a foot apart. And these are just beautiful flowers. They are, are this lime color and they attract pollinators, including hummingbirds, which we do have in our area. So what you do, you just plant it just like that. Again, you can thin out the smaller ones and then you can plant another one foot apart. Again, these plants don't really have a lot of the root system. So you can break them up just like this. I will have a lot of extras left. I'll probably give it to my friends. And you just go on. Now, as you can see, I have daffodils here planted. This is probably, um, would be a good time right now to interplant 
between the daffodils because this foliage will dry and disappear in a couple of weeks and by that time your Nicotiana is going to kind of take over. So you just go on and fill out the whole area here. Alright you guys, so the Nicotiana is all planted and I know it does not look impressive right now, but give it a month or so they will fill in very nicely. And as you can see, I also mulched and I watered them really well. So this whole mulched area has Nicotiana. About 17 plants I got from one winter sowing container, which is really good considering the seed packet was $1.50. That is a great deal. Um, so I will definitely give you updates on how this area is filling in and how these babies are doing. All right, guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoy this uh, winter sewing container reveal. And I will definitely be updating you on the progression of this bed because I will be filling it in with lots more flowers. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. I would love to stay in touch with you. And I hope you are safe and keep gardening. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. I should probably brush. Can you move over here? Can you move over here? Move over here. Okay. Now can you come? Come. You want to open some bottles? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to open some bottles? <gasps> Why is your nose so dirty? Come here. Come here. Can I have a paw? Can I have a paw? Good job. That's a dirty paw. Can I have a paw? Can I have a paw? Oh, good boy. <laughs> Could do it all day. I don't think you can eat that. <laughs>